Apparently when you come here, you have to order this garden snail. I've never had something like this before, so let's try it. Hello everyone, Jeffrey here. I am at an 1000 year old Yao village in the mountains of Guangdong province in China. Check out that view behind me. This village is located right in the clouds. I just finished dinner. Not the best meal I've ever had, but some of the dishes were still delicious. My favorite one was definitely the mushroom pot. There's three different types of mushrooms inside. The cured meat and bamboo shoot stir-fry was also delicious. You get this spicy flavor mixed with the freshness of the bamboo shoots. And of course, there's the garden snail. I mean, not a fan personally, but my parents seem to like it. Apparently that's one of the most famous dishes you can order in this area of China. So I guess I had to try it at least. Day two in the Yao village. Sorry if I sound a bit unenthusiastic this morning. I'm still trying to warm up. Now the sky is starting to clear up a little, but it's still freezing cold. My hands are, I can barely move them. It usually gets down to around seven or eight degrees in the winter, but here it's negative two degrees. That's almost unheard of in this part of China. I feel so much better after that meal. The beef balls were really delicious, but mainly that warm soup, man. It definitely heals my soul in this freezing morning. This village was built in the Song Dynasty and it's located over 800 meters above sea level. All the houses here are stacked on top of each other. It's really cool. When you look out into the distance, everything just disappears into the clouds. The Yao people have a special devotion to cows. Their ancestors worship them in order to have better yields during farming season. And this tradition has passed down even till now. So that's why they have these huge cow mantles everywhere in the village. Now we are going to try their handmade tofu pudding. My mom's family in Taiwan also makes tofu pudding. So let's see what the difference is. It has a light ginger taste and it's not that sweet, which is actually a big compliment in Chinese culture. The soy taste is really, really fresh. You can definitely tell it's handmade that morning. But I mean, of course we're bi, so we definitely prefer our own tofu pudding in Taiwan. But this one here is not bad by any means, and you have to try it. Oh, it's really hard. Yao That was the traditional welcoming ceremony of the Yao people. They will feed the guests this rice wine drink, and the guest is not allowed to stop drinking until the music stops. The music can go on for like 5 to 10 minutes, so if you're a heavyweight, come to this village.
these bamboo shoots are still my favorite. They're grown right outside in the farm. And the tofu skin is also a must order here. Even though it's a byproduct of making tofu, it's really delicious. Lunch today was way better than dinner yesterday. You also must order their fresh vegetables. These vegetables grown on the mountains are perfect. There's even this little sweet taste to it. This little village near Qingyuan in Guangdong province is definitely worth checking out. It's a little bit unfortunate that the weather is kind of terrible today. I mean, it's already really pretty right now when it's hidden inside the mist and clouds, but just imagine what it would look like on a clear day. All right, on to our next place. We just checked into our second hotel on this trip. This is the Wien Hotel near Ingde, but it's not actually located in Ingde city. This hotel is pretty much in the middle of nowhere. If you look outside the windows, there are mountains on every single side. When we came to this hotel, we drove past this really rural town. I did not expect there to be a decent hotel, so I was really pleasantly surprised. Let me give you a tour. Oh, look at that sticky glutinous rice. This area of China is really famous for their hot spring hot tubs. There are two on the rooftop here, but unfortunately it's raining. Hopefully it'll clear up later. I've lived in China for 18 years, but this is only one of the few times I come to a place that's this rural. But I mean, check out those mountains. It's absolutely stunning. We only stayed in Ingde for one night. Then we went back to Qingyuan to celebrate Chinese New Year's Eve. And do the most important thing in this time of year, eat lots of food and get fat. Happy Tiger Year! Round one of the dinner buffet. It's pretty much this mixture of foods from all over the world. I got some German sausage here, some roasted chicken and roasted duck. And here we have a bowl of sea cucumber and abalone soup. Mm. There's a really rich seafood taste to it, but actually there's only a few pieces of abalone. The flavor itself is not bad, but personally I prefer other types of soup dishes. After days of stuffing ourselves with food, we finally got a chance to enjoy the local hot spring. Happy Chinese New Year everyone! I saved this festive mask just for today. Okay, I'm gonna take it off now. Mm. This trip was the first time since the pandemic my family has traveled together. It's a little bit disappointing that the weather has been terrible, but I still got to see one of the most beautiful places and hidden gems in Guangdong province that I never even knew existed. There is way more to this part of China than Shenzhen and Guangzhou. Anyways, thanks for following me on this short trip, and from my family to yours, Happy Lunar New Year! 恭喜发财,